Welcome to this week's edition of the Ram Roundup with head coach Kevin Layton. Kevin, winners of four in a row, five out of the last six, all at home. You start 8-10 play this weekend. How is the team feeling after this little four-game run that you're going on? Yeah, I think uh, really good. I mean, we needed that. Um, it's one of the things we talked about, uh, trying to stay on this uh, high as, as opposed to going up and down and um, staying focused and, and just keep uh, doing what we've been doing well. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, going into conference, we could do the same. Over the last four games, big pitching performances. You had Murphy's 14 strikeout game, 11 strikeout game by Kinnear. The, the top of that rotation going into the opening weekend of conference play, how confident are you in those guys at the top of the rotation after what they did this weekend? Uh, you know, the, both those guys have thrown really well um, their last uh, couple times on the mound. And um, anytime they have the ball, we feel very good about ourselves. Um, uh, they were tremendous this weekend. To expect them to do that every weekend is going to be very difficult, but um, uh, just outstanding. And, and I thought our um, young guys pitched really well in, in Game Three against Sacred Heart and uh, yesterday against Iona. The guys, um, you know, threw pretty good, uh, especially Sunday. And it's good to see that the young guys have had limited innings and uh, uh, and kind of pressure spots. So, um, you know, it's, it's so far everything's been uh, going our way. Luke Stanfill has been the hottest hitter in the, in the lineup. Bardwell, Gallard also hitting very well. Last game against Iona, pick up a couple of big hits from Mark Donatio, Jason Lundy. You know, are you hoping that kind of those those hits yesterday, Donatio four RBIs, Lundy with the three run home run, that that's kind of turned the corner maybe for them as they kind of get that fresh. You know, it always kind of is a fresh start when conference play starts. Yeah, you know, those guys have uh, been scuffling a little bit. Um, you know, some of them uh, have had some really hard outs. Uh, you know, we want them to feel comfortable. We want them to um, uh, just stick to what they do well as opposed to looking at the stats and, uh, and worrying about that stuff. Um, so for us, it's just uh, every day is a new day. Uh, we're trying not to look too much into the past as far as what they have done. Uh, we know what they're capable of doing, and um, you know if they can just stay focused in the present, and um, uh, I think they'll be fine. I mean, uh, you know, for the conference, uh, you know, I think we have an offense that one day, uh, you know, a guy like Luke can be the hero, and the next day it could be a guy like Lundy, and that, that was um, yesterday for us. And uh, you know, hopefully every day is a new um, a new guy that's going to step up and be the uh, the guy that gets a big hit. So. You guys start conference play with George Mason uh, down in Fairfax, Virginia. Again, normally a very solid team, always in the mix uh, in, in the league for a playoff spot. What, what have you seen out of them so far? I think they're always going to be tough. I mean, especially first weekend, they're a more southern program than we are, so maybe had the opportunity to be outside a little bit more often. But um, uh, there are no um, – easy opponents in this league every weekend is a grind every weekend is tough so um, we're not so concerned about what they've done uh, we're in my eyes more concerned about what we have done and what we're capable of um, if we pitch the way we we are capable and if we can um, uh, uh, you know make our offense uh, do the things that we did yesterday uh, move some guys and, and get some big hits I think we're going to be at the top of the league. I mean, I, I, we have um, a, a pretty good uh, team, and um, we can't worry about other people. It's just worry about ourselves. So, All right, Well, best of luck this week, and Kevin, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Scott. Be right back with our player review with sophomore Reese Kinnear. Here with our player review with sophomore Reese Kinnear. Reese, a uh, really good weekend for the Rams, now winners of four in a row. How is the team feeling currently on this four-game win streak? Uh, I think everybody's just confident right now. Confident like the pitching, throwing first strikes, getting ahead. And even when we're hitting, just picking the right pitches to swing at and just put runs together and keep them off the board. This year, you've kind of moved from that reliever role into that number two spot in the rotation this weekend, career high 11 strikeouts against Sacred Heart. How has that transition been from going from that relief role as your, as your freshman year now into that start, primary starter role, weekend starter role? Uh, last year I did come out of the pen, but I would go, you know, four to five innings sometimes, and uh, it's different, you know, because you have to warm up and get your get your routine. And uh, I started this summer, which helped a lot. So I got my routine down and figured out what I wanted to do before a game and to get ready. And uh, I'm having fun. 
Now, you, on top of becoming a weekend starter, you also play in a little bit of second base, home runs in the last two games. What is that? Is there a different mentality where, you know, I'm in the lineup in the field, I'm in as a DH, I'm a starting pitcher. You know, how much does that change your mindset going into each game, going into each day? Uh, I'm just trying to help the team win right now. And whatever, wherever I'm at, I'm just going to try to do my best and what I, and do what I do best, and that's just make the, help the team win as best as I can. You guys start a 10 play this weekend down in George Mason. Should be a little bit warmer weather, not yeah. you know, no, no snow piles or anything yeah. like that. But you know, how is the field team feeling going into this conference opener uh, on Friday against George Mason? Yeah, with this four game win streak, it's really helping us. Our bats are starting to come alive, and this is what really what we needed to to get going into George Mason. And uh, this warm weather is actually something we needed to. After Houston Baptist getting that 75 degree weather, and not getting that ever, uh, since, it's just it's struggling, but. Now we got the heat, and we're, we're going to have some fun. All right, well, best of luck this weekend, Reese, and uh, we'll see you next Thank week. You. Thank you. Have a good one. I'll do it for this week's edition of the Ram Roundup. Special thanks to baseball head coach Kevin Layton and sophomore Reese Kinnear for joining us. Fordham Baseball at George Mason this weekend as they open Atlantic 10 play games on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Make sure to check out FordhamSports.com for any updates to that schedule. You can also follow all the action on the baseball Twitter account at Fordham Baseball as there will be updates on the games as they happen all weekend long. For the Fordham Ram Roundup, I'm Scott Kwiatkowski, and we'll see you next week.